Okay, to remove the dashboard cowl, you have screws over here and uh, another one here and you have two more screws here and another screw over here as well as another screw here so once you removed all the screws you can simply pull this out and uh, it would come out so the first thing that you'll do is you'll turn it on and you'll start pulling this outward so this cleanly comes off as a piece and the same with these you pull this out with some force and this also comes out as well as this one so once you remove that then you can get started with the whole uh, speedometer cowl removal process okay i've removed the four screws here these two screws are actually belonging to the push and pull button which controls the ac whether fresh air or normal recirculation is done so after i removed it so it has come free so as you can see so now it is time to pull it out if you can see you'll have this meter uh, this your hazard switch which interferes with the removal so what you'll do is you'll tilt it forward you'll tilt it this way and uh, you'll tilt it this way and then you'll pull it this way and remove it outward so uh, it's not so easy as it looks but uh, after some time and struggle you will get it it's easier to remove the speedometer and the instrument cluster so let's just remove it you have two screws there and two screws there which on removal will give you your speedometer cluster back in your hand to remove that you have to put your hand from inside it and reach up to the top where you'll find a speedometer cable i have just removed it and it's incredibly difficult to show it to you but if you see here inside the thing that you can see there is the instrument uh, sorry speedometer cable and once you pull it with a great force it comes out and after that you have this plug and there is another plug here in the bottom once you remove them the speedometer console comes out very easily Okay, after you remove the instrument panel, you can see the back where you have your bulbs. This, uh, this is for the high beam left, right. And then this is for the light, background light. And this is for the background light for the fuel and temperature gauge. Uh, that's it. So, uh, this is a very stupid system. If you zoom into it, you'll find sort of a green hole inside which feeds uh, light into uh, somewhere here that you can see which makes it fall onto the instruments this is a very stupid way and so we are going to convert that uh, change that and convert it into led for that you should look out here top and bottom you have clips that is first the mirror comes out so what you do is you put a screwdriver like this and you start pulling it out once you do that this comes out okay after removing that you have a clearer glimpse of this that is you have here from where it starts falling onto the instruments and as you can see it's quite bright the only problem we have is the light which is itself is dim so let's try and open this other gentleman as well by pulling it this way for every single panel so that this cowl comes out okay we have removed that and now you can see this glass through which it comes out so what we are going to do is replace this glass with a strip of led and get the power back to the positive and the negative wherever you have so for that uh, you can't go through this way because as you can see this is the green part which uh, converts a normal bulb into green so this is in the way to get your wiring back or to do anything so what we have to do now is remove this plate this is a metallic plate and it removes easily except for the two speedometer screws and the speedometer needle once you plug these two out this plate comes out so you can fiddle with this you can add an LED strip whatever you fancy okay after 
plucking out that simply and after removing these two screws so now if I put a screwdriver here inside the panel it simply lifts off so you can remove this okay after removing the plate you have the exposed speedometer mechanism you have your uh, petrol and tem or temperature gauge and here you have your uh, light I mean uh, this is from where the light conducts and falls down and this is the source where it is green in color so you simply pull this out and replace this with an LED strip and pour it down and uh, hopefully it should work okay so as you can probably see I've replaced that with an LED strip which has been wired and that wiring in the back comes out like this this will be attached to the board let's see how it does but the important thing when you're attaching your LED is to take care of the cowl that is once you put your cowl back your LED should fit inside that slot but it should not move about so once you made that sure it's time to put all the connections back on okay so this is how it looks at night and as you can see there is a brilliant improvement and I'm loving it so far.